Devin, talk to us about Coach Brown. We actually get back to him during games when you go back to the group mm -hmm. between series and, and he's kind of flying chest bump with you. Talk, talk about those two instances, what it's like during games and the exuberance. Yeah, that's my guy. Uh, you know, that's 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 who I lean on. You know, during the game, during the whole week, and uh, that's just the relationship we have. So, I mean, all that you see, that's just what our relationship, honestly. Hello. Devin, I don't know if that was the, just the first clean hat on top of the pile that you grabbed today, or on purpose, but <laughs> to carry out the tour that you guys have been on and to beat Ohio State, what would that do for you and for this team? This season? It would mean everything, you know, for us and uh, for our season, uh, for us to keep going. Uh, we haven't beaten them in a while, and uh, that's something we really want to do, and that's something we're going to do. Was it just clean, or did you wear it Kind of both. It was, it's next to my bed, so I just grab it and go. In the middle. Uh, Devin, can you go over what this rivalry means to you in, uh, in full detail, uh, why you hate Ohio State, and why this game is so important? Um... I just this is one of those games where you just got to win, you know, no matter, you know, what your record is or, you know, what's been going on this season. And uh, this is one of those games where, you know, you got to show up and you got to play your best game, you know, no matter what you've been through, no matter what you're going through. So, uh, you know, this rivalry means everything to us and I'm pretty sure it means everything to them. And uh, this is going to be a great game come Saturday. Yeah. Um, it's just a bunch of guys, you know, ready to work. You know, it's a bunch of guys that, that take pride in the defense, a bunch of guys that are not selfish, and guys that just want to make plays. And um, we got a lot of young guys. We got a lot of veteran guys that, that take on that same mentality. And you see, you know, we have a lot of substitutions during the game. So that just goes to show, you know, how, how, much, how much we pride ourselves on, on playing defense and playing the way we play. Back, Jack. How much does it hurt you that you guys haven't beaten them yet? A lot. Uh, since I've been here, I haven't won that game yet. And um, uh, playing against them last year, we had them. And, uh, you know, we, we let it slip. And um, we have another opportunity to come in Saturday, so we're going to get ready for that. How do you, how do you not get overwhelmed by the magnitude this game? It's so much out of line. We played in big games. You know, we played Notre Dame. You know, we played Penn State. We played Wisconsin. And uh, we played Michigan State. So those are all big games. And we've been on those stages before. And it's just another game. Chase is one of those guys, you know, you don't have to worry about him. You know, he, you know he's going to show up to play each and every down. And, you know, he holds down the D-line, you know, being a veteran guy. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure if he's going to play or if he's not. But, um, you know, if he does, you know, let, let's go. And uh, if he doesn't, then we're going we to have to, you know, hold it down while he's out. Back left. What's uh, the missing ingredient in the recent losses that you've been hearing against Ohio State specifically? Just finishing. Uh, finishing games, finishing our plays, finishing our drives, you know, and just keeping our foot on the pedal. What's it like in the horseshoe? What's it like rolling up in the bus? Yeah, um, like you feel the hate, you know, uh, you feel the hate, you feel the rivalry. And, you know, once you're in that stadium, you know, you know why the game is so, like you said, like has that magnitude that it does. And, you know, you, you can feel it from their fans, you know, from their sideline and just the atmosphere. Do you feed off that? Do you like that? Yeah, I like that. Um, it, that, that was one of those games, like I said, where uh, we didn't finish. And uh, we got another opportunity to go in there. And uh, I believe we're going to finish the job. When you look at Dwayne Haskins and how uh, you know, prolific he's been this year, how do you guys stop him? Yeah. Um, Haskins is a good quarterback. You know, everything goes through him. You know, he's a facilitator. He's a QB. You know, he's a leader. And uh, I, I thought he had, he's having a great year this year. And, um, you know, we just have to keep the pressure on him. Um, you got to make him, you know, force tough throws and, you know, move his feet in the pocket. 